It's Monday, uh, January 5th, and we had uh, about 16 inches of brand new fresh powder this morning. And whitefish, I can barely walk. This is what I see. So today is the day that I have to prepare for my bike ride tomorrow. Montana weather, heading to Kalispell, Montana yeah, really to get my so we'll, we'll bike. Okay, here it is, the 5th of January, and I'm walking into Wheaton's, and uh, literally, I can hardly move. This is what I have to go through in order to get my bike box right now. Like, look at that. And so, um, it's a big, huge winter storm, and uh, in just a couple days, I'll be uh, in San Diego. The biggest storm we've had since 1996, about 18 inches of snow. So emergency travel only, and in Kalispell, Montana, you cannot park in downtown. It is a ticketable offense right now because of the storm. Hey guys. Oh my God, Pat. Hey Mike. What are you, what is going on here? Just, it's a day off work or what's going on? Well, I we figure if we're snowed in, we might as well drink in. <laughs> oh gosh, do you have my bike? Yeah, Ready? Mike's right here, Mike. There you go. Oh, let's go, let's you're, get you're it. You're 100% good to go. Okay, so let's... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know how you're getting out of here since everything's snowed oh, you, in. Can but... you take it yourself? Okay, there yeah. you go, go for it. Actually, that's not heavy. That's not bad. Dude, I don't know, like, can you fly planes out of this? No, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you might be kind of stuck here. How many inches today? Dude, is the um, Kalispell closed or what? Well, if you look at the top of my car, I shoveled this at like 2 a.m. last oh, night. Oh, really? And that's like 17 inches. Okay. 18 inches. Uh, well, uh, are you just pretty much running the show today? Because you live like, like upstairs, right? Yeah, Josh and I live the closest, so we're here. That's about it. Just kind of uh, here Mark's for... and Marion, they probably got two feet. Okay. Pat, is, right. is this really the last person I'm gonna see before I... Oh man. That's is... some airline security people. Okay, here I am, I'm getting my bike prepared. I'm gonna go from here to uh, San Diego, California today. It's the 6th of January, 2015. And uh, I got my bike in here, my snow bike, and eight sets of tires. It's pretty heavy. Once I get there, I'll go to the U.S.-Mexico border right here. I'll go to Guatemala, San Salvador, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Panama, Ecuador, Peru, Argentina, ending it in Tierra del Fuego. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, January 6th, I'm at uh, Revolution Bike Shop in Solano Beach, and I'm gonna go get my bike. So my bike's ready. Let's see here, buddy. Got it? Oh my gosh, look at that. Awesome, look at that. It's got a, everything's ready. The bike is right here, and yes, I am nervous. We are just blocks from the U.S.-Mexico border, San Diego, California. I'm here with my good friends, obviously Noah, Noah Fouch showed me a great time. And of course, yes, good times. <laughs> this is my safety net and great friend and traveling partner. And uh, as you can tell, his face is a little leaner than mine right now. Well, that's, uh, that's okay, that's about to change. I have not worked out in a couple months. Even to put on the bags and get the bike like that was hard this morning. I was breathing 
and I'm ready to go. Even though it's the United States right now in San Diego, it uh, really we are actually in Mexico. Thank you. Wish me luck. Okay, here I am. I'm in Tijuana. First time. Here we are, barely out of Tijuana, Mexico, trying to make it to Ensenada. And so far we've had some major challenges. I actually snapped my chain. My friend over here snapped his spoke. And what else did you break? You broke that right off too. He broke, he broke the strap off. It's day one, week one. Seven miles into it. Many challenges. We were also pushing our bikes up for about three miles up a road on a narrow passage to get to the playa, which is the beaches. This is my first ever uh, Mexican, real Mexican uh, restaurant eating experience. Um, and I'm paying for it on day one, week one of my bike ride. Um, here and I'm having a burrito and a taco. And I am paying with it with real um, uh, Mexican pesos. I've never ever done it. make it all the one the same. It's only make it one. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Yes, I want the burrito with everything. Carne and cheese. And... Yes, por favor, please. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Take yeah. care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao. Your name? Angel. And your name? Angel. Angel. Oh, okay. Miguel. Uh, Mike. Who's it? Angel. <laughs> and here it is, just another wonderful night. Day one, week one. <sighs> what a day. What a great, great day. And here we are in Rosalita? Rosarito. Rosarito, Baja, Mexico. And we are camping in the back of. A uh, couple friends we met, uh -huh. which is Angel in English. Mm -hmm. And we are staying in back <coughs> tonight for our first time because we did not have a chance to find any place oh. other than this safe place okay. to camp. Place a camp last night and uh, getting ready to leave for day two of this adventure. Day two. Day two and uh, going down Baja and uh, going to Ensenada today. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. It's a lot hotter today and I'm in the field, so I feel a lot more aware of my surroundings. I would, uh... Well, what would happen? What would happen is if, when you, if you got to the border with um, Guatemala and you wanted to go south and you didn't have that stamp, then you'd be kind of... So we gotta knows, get this handled. Who knows, who knows what that would amount to? They might want some ridiculous amount of money, so you're better off getting... Okay. Yeah, getting your papers in order. Okay. Alan, hey, thanks a lot, buddy, for letting us stay. I appreciate it. De nada. Por segunda vez nos despedimos. Espero que las chicas vaya bien. Oh, very good. Are you going to school this morning? Yeah. Oh, good. And it's going well? Awesome. You can notice. <laughs> yeah. It's early morning right now, so. And this is, uh, this is the bike. Day six, and I just had my first shower that was hot. So I am feeling wonderful, and it was right behind here, and I'm loving it. So 30 pesos. So here it is, eight days into this Mexican Baja experience. It's uh, definitely the Wild West out here. I think that a lot of people in America were very afraid uh, of Mexico. That's the kind of feedback I got before I left on this trip. Yeah, it is definitely uh, not the same kind of traffic system, and the people are different, and the culture is different. A lot of farm trucks, a lot of semi-trucks. A lot of the things I saw in the United States, but I'll tell you, it's much, uh, it's very rewarding because everything you look at, everywhere you go, it, it just looks like it needs to be photographed and the people are very kind. 
Um, the food's kind of been, well, it's been very inexpensive and cooked mostly. Um, I'm not cooking hardly at all um, on this trip. But, and showers are a lot less than they were before. We're kind of camping in between towns, which uh, is nice. It's nice to get off-road as quick as possible so you can actually not uh, put yourself in a position to be seen. Uh, just for safety purposes, because you have to be a little more cautious now that you're, you know, biking in a, a, kind of in an unknown area. I'm carrying a spot. He's carrying an in, in reach. It's really nice. That's a good peace of mind to have these satellite trackers. So it updates our location every, say, five minutes for me and 30 minutes for my friend, which is nice for friends and family back home to know where I'm at, where we're at, latitude and longitude. Uh, this is a little more challenging because it's very wild west. I saw wine groves. I've seen... Uh, half the size of semi trucks filled with things on it that I can't even describe visually that you would never see in the United States. Also, the uh, exhaust systems are much uh, less regulated, so there's a lot more blue, you know, smoke. And I found that on these farm roads, there's a lot more particulates and organic matter that you're actually inhaling. Got quite a fire here going, quite a fire indeed, and it feels really good because uh, it's nice to counter the uh, night cold. Okay, last night it totally froze and uh, we're building a fire here and uh, hey, we're going to have some coffee and uh, I'm looking way different in the screen and uh, it's as real as it gets, there was frost everywhere and this is the fire that we're making. So that's gonna be, and the coffee we're drinking right here. Oh yes, and that will certainly be uh, a nice morale boost on this uh, push over this mountain that we have this morning. And that's a valley mountain, and we're definitely gonna be having some um, incline. Uh, and as you can see, the, the Mexican mountains behind us, it is very beautiful, but the exchange is very, very cold, and survival! That's the way. really cool Catholic church it's open and it's on a hill and the hill is, this is what I see and there's my bike hey we well, are gonna get a warm shower Boy, do you know this song? hold on just a sec oh man Good song, good song, man. I take photo. <laughs> Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera. It's moments like these on the journey that are purely magical. I'm in a yurt, we're in a yurt, offered graciously by a Mexican citizen of the Baja Peninsula. And as you can see, it has just a gorgeous mountain view. And we can do it landaria. And we have beautiful musica. We have drinks and coffee and all the luxuries that make the experience all worth it. So for me right now, today, it's just been the best. And I can't wait to deal with the ranch hand. The ranch hand's gonna take us to an authentic Mexican home dinner. Yes. So, that's it. Michael. Oh yes, hello. Oh yeah, oh God, I can hardly get through. <laughs>
I feel so Americana. I'm so happy, happy to be yeah. This morning's breakfast and your husband taught your daughter very good breakfast cooking skills. And like that. What are they talking Come here. Yes. Come say hola. Hola. <laughs> it's uh, Friday the 23rd and I uh, camped behind here last night and uh, the nice thing about this morning is we camped right behind a little tiny makeshift uh, restaurant and my good friend uh, here that owns the restaurant, he's my good friend now, he uh, say hi, say hello, hola, como estas, these are my friends, they, your name? Armando. Armando, the town we're in? In Rosario. Uh, it's uh, one day closer to Gabriela Lopez in uh, Guatemala, Guatemala City, and uh, that's my uh, main goal, is to get there as quick as possible. It's the 22nd of January and uh, here I am, and it's great because uh, I'm going through the uh, kind of a hilly, rolly country. I will say this much, it's been uh, a lot of rolling hills this morning, I'm only about an hour and a half into it, about eight miles, and uh, the nice thing about right now is what I see is uh, just mostly desert, it's pretty even and as you can tell the, uh, the road is pretty nice. It's fairly uh, arid out, about 85 degrees and I'll be reporting a lot more uh, as I uh, start to wind down the day today. And uh, a lot of trucks coming by and I love what I'm seeing. Okay, the sun's going down. It's uh, Friday the 22nd of uh, January and it was about a 30 mile ride today. I feel very good, accomplished. We had a great morning. Um, a lot of hills. It was definitely the most challenging bike ride I've been on so far since I've been in Mexico and probably right up there with one of the uh, hardest ones I've ever done. Wind was good. There was hardly any. Um, we are in Sabaro country, meaning there is no I have never seen a forest of these particular type of plants you see to your left, my right. And I'll uh, say this, it was just a really great day. We're going to be camping in a very isolated tiki hut that's uh, decommissioned at this very rustic, uh, no electricity type um, farm. And there's dogs everywhere. Isn't that right? Oh, little dog. Da -ka -da -ka -da. I fed him earlier, so some tuna fish. It's pretty smoky, but that is how they're heating the showers this morning, is right here. The shower that I took a shower in this morning, that's how they heat their water. This is how they burn their trash. And this right here? That's the beans. Oh, the Three beans! Holies. Three holies! And this is how they're making the beans this morning. Leña and mesquite. Mesquite. Oh, mesquite wood. Yes. Very good. And that's the restaurant we ate at, right in here. Right here is where it's all done. Say bye. Hola, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, here we are. Here we are. It's awesome. You're playing your little uh, your ukulele, and uh, we're having a fun. What's your name? Uh, Roberto. Oh, you can just look right over there. Roberto, oh, and your name? Roberto. Alex. Alex, and your name? David. And where are you from? Uh, vivo in Idaho. Okay, and you are from? My name is Alex. Also. Awesome, and you are helping us out tonight by building us a beautiful fire, and we're also uh, very welcome. And we're going to enjoy a great dinner tonight. 
This is the magic. This is the magic behind the uh, trip, like I've always mentioned. Today was about a what a 30 mile uh, day today, roughly. About that. Yeah, Two and it was brutal, uh, wind. brutal winds today. It was crazy. And your name? Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo. Okay, good. So this is great, and we're just gonna enjoy a wonderful night. We're gonna cook some chorizo. We're gonna chorizo potatoes. So there's internet next door, but there's nothing in between these towns. So we have a great fire, and here we are, and we're gonna listen and play music all night. Warm up. I love this. All right, let's warm up. This is what I love so much about these experiences. They're very spontaneous. We met these three guys today on the road, and we're gonna be camping here tonight, over there. San Agustin is called. It's called San Agustin right here. Oh, okay. And that's where we're camping tonight. Mexican flag. Squash? Is that what this is? Squash. Oh wow. Alex, so how did you get the squash this morning for us to eat on this very amazing Sunday morning? Well, the Lord had the, the time to bless me with the guys from the program and the create program and they were stopped across the street and I asked them for some. So it's fresh off the farm right here. Right. Look at this. And what else are we gonna have? Look at this amazing breakfast. I just can't get over. Uh, great friends and family here. And yeah, yeah. But good. Good. we're making the batter for the pancakes. Pancakes, yes. So you boil. How are you saying Spanish? Calabaza tiernita, tiernita. Ah, young, young squash. And cactus, as you can see, all around. I love it today, the uh, round rock especially, and the cactus. Um, it is very windy though, unfortunately, and it uh, makes it a little more difficult to, uh, to bike ride. But we had a great breakfast. You can see those big, beautiful rock all around me. And this is another thing that's really cool, is right here. You'll see, uh, you'll see that right there. That is interesting! I love these cactus! There's cactus everywhere. It's like a it's like a, a forest of cactus. It's Monday. It's been uh, flat tires, mesquite needles, and uh, open desert, and then hill country, and also uh, Texas Longhorn or something like that. This right here is very similar to what I see in Montana. And uh, just in the course of about 20 miles today, uh, the country's changed from palm trees to saburo cactus to caleche soil. Uh, it's just crazy. And as you can see, it's just nothing but open plain. Open plain, and uh, I'm enjoying it a little bit now because the wind has died down. And with the wind dying down, that means I get to uh, put on some more miles as the uh, Monday evening Mexican high country, high country desert <laughs> treats me nicely. It's okay to stand right in front of it because it's just blowing all the organic matter to the right. Ooh, that's pretty sparky. Hopefully what we can get going here is just like just to burn down oh. into coals and then uh, oh. keep it pretty low, you know. Garlic and salt. Oh my god, all these garlic and salt. Solamente chiles, ajos y sal. Maten y un poco de cilantro. It's really hot and I can barely stand just the air when they're making these chilies because it just totally has a reaction to the upper respiratory and uh, I could barely breathe back there and literally I had to go outside. I had to go outside of this little tiny restaurant here with my water <coughs> bottle <coughs> and drink water just to get it down. I even had a little light uh, milk because it's just that intense. They take it very seriously here. Sal, ajo, 
mueles, chile, mueles, tomates, mueles, agua y cilantro. Ah, sí. Cilantro. Cilantro, yes, yes. Y revuelves y listo. ¿Qué son estos? Son chile. Pica. Chile. Chile. That's really hot. <laughs> 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 Too hot. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> what, <come> <laughs> is it hot for you too? <laughs> <laughs> so hot. Oh my gosh. What are, what are these? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> these are so hot. <laughs> There they just go. made this uh, salsa. Just a little bit, man. That I, no, I know. I just, they just made this salsa so great, uh, I could hardly breathe in the process of them making it. Now I'm going to try some. And it's the uh, one of the world's hottest salsas. Mmm. Whoa. Caliente. Pica. Very good. Uh, but it's very hot. So it's hard to breathe. It's hard to breathe right now. So, right here, this is what it looks like. Oh, that's good. That was good. That's good. Very hot though. So it's gonna, I'm going to start sweating. So I don't know if I should actually be doing this anymore. Because I might pass out. <laughs> the way you deal with the salsa. Oh my god. <sighs> my, muy better. Oh. Um, that's the only way I can cool down right now, is be outside with water and wind. <sighs> now that we've had our first Skype session ever, um, it sounds like, you know, everything's going well. I'm doing well, and I'll probably contact you in a week or so via Skype, or maybe two weeks. But if not, you know I'll make a phone call to you, so, okay? okay. Alrighty, guys, have a great rest of your day. Yeah, enjoy your 86 uh, degree weather. I will, Mother. Good memory. Good phone call. And you look great on screen, Mother, so you're doing great. I slept right back there this morning and uh, for two days, and there's horses on the other side, and there's a lagoon about a mile from here. And I just got done uh, in 90-degree weather, putting everything together, going to uh, Santa Rosalia. And I'm having a wonderful breakfast this mañana uh, with my friends. Hola. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you? And uh, what are we what are we having this morning? What is what is that right there? Pan, Pan viejo. Ah, uh, see, sí, see. Sí. Pan viejo hecho por Alexis Oton. Your name? Eric. Your name? Javier. He's eighteen, by the way. And you're fifteen? Seventeen? Sixteen. Okay. And your name? Suhei. Oh, great! <laughs> what a wonderful way to start my morning ride with a wonderful, authentic Mexican breakfast. <laughs> and I'm so happy to share it with this great family. It was very hospitable. We had warm shower, Wi-Fi, internet, and it was just great. And it's very hot today. I'm like overwhelmed. And there's a lot of bugs because we're close to a uh, lagoon. 110, but it's more like about 100. And I've gone very little today. Very little distance-wise. Um, very warm. It is extremely hot. So it's been like, 20, honestly, 25 miles of pure elevation gain since uh, San Ignacio. I'm heading to Santa Rosaliza, Rosalia, and this is what I see. This is absolutely my most favorite time in the morning, sunrise. I'm heading into Santa Rosalia. That's what I really love about these trips, is these little random spots you can just instantly pull over and camp in. It was a great night of sleep right here. There it is. Okay, really quick, what I wanted to say this morning is I've gone about 200, 250 miles or so where I've had no ocean, okay? So this is the magic behind the trip. Uh, like I always mention multiple times. Okay, so this is okay, everything looks good there. And all of a sudden, I look to my right, and that's what I see.
Okay, I'm in uh, Santa Spag, uh, and I'm talking to Armando, uh, and he owns a restaurant right here I just stayed at. It's called Armando's, and he's, uh, these are clams? Uh, Ostiones. Ostras, uh -huh. oysters, yes. Uh -huh. And he's making them right here, and they're freshly caught. Oyster, and he's putting it there for me, really quick. Yum, look at that. A little bit of uh, ooh, that looks great. Ah, hot sauce. So I'm about to have this, and it's gonna look good, folks. I'm telling you. It's okay, stay there. Stay there. Hey, hey! Gosh. This is very interesting. Alcuri. Ah, I see. Si sabe? Uh huh, si, si. This is really cool. I've never seen that before. Goat. <laughs> Excellent. right now is my mother. She had uh, a medical event with her heart and has to go in for surgery and so I'm gonna give a surprise visit home and I'm gonna stay a month there because one of the things I've learned being in Mexico, the Baja Peninsula, and just staying with nine sets of family Mexican members is that's what it's all about is family and food. And uh, that's one thing that Mexico's taught me is that family is so important. So I'm definitely going to be there for my mom. And uh, nothing will uh, take me from that decision. And I'll surprise my mom. I look forward to that. Here I am, Cabo San Lucas. There's a cruise ship right here. It's pretty cool. I'll pan the camera over. Mi nombre es Daniel y me siento orgulloso de formar parte de Alaska. tell everyone watching something. There is nothing more important than the family that you have and the friends that share in the journey and expressions of life. Now that my mom has had a successful heart surgery, I look forward to new experiences with her and friends. I dedicate this film to my mother and friends who have supported me along my own journey. Thank you.